Alrighty, so we have drawn the tic-tac-toe now. And we need to put it on a drawing sheet. Ooh. So, uh, this will be the first time you're doing this. You're going to go to this plus sign down here, and you're going to go to Create Drawing. By default, we want to go to the ANSI A inch. And we are going to bring in the part from the part studio. Uh, and is the only part. And we actually want to look at it, uh, depending on how you draw it, drew it, I should say. We want to make sure we're on the top view, as I have right here. Uh, and I'm just going to click down to drop that. The scale looked good. Um, if you did not see the scale, it was a half inch scale. And uh, after we drop it, we're going to make sure we're doing projected views and we want a projected view up. We want a projected view over. And then we are going to want a three dimensional view up in the corner. Um, with these views, I got a couple things I want to do. So with this one, I want to right click on it. Uh, I got a deselect projected, so I'm going to hit escape. I'm just going to right click on this and I want to uh, show shaded view on this one in the corner. And on this one, I want to do show hidden lines. Uh, I could do show hidden lines on this one, but I do not want to. I just want them over here. Okay. Uh, and on shape very nicely already bought all the center marks in there for us. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, I can't even get rid of them if I wanted to. So it's not a choice. All right. So we've got a couple things we can do here. All right. So I've got to add dimensions and I've got to add them in a couple spots. And I also have to add a center line. So let's do the center line first. I want to add a bisecting center line, edge edge center line right here uh, between this line and this line to signify that's the center. So we want to do that on that view. Then we just kind of want to add some of the big dimensions we're going to need. We're not going to get like too crazy on this and we want to add a note. So um, just a couple things. I want to make a dimension from here to here to show the actual thickness of the object. And then I want a dimension from here to here on the object. And then I would like a dimension right here. And I'm gonna go in and edit that a little later. Um, and is there any other dimensions I want in particular? On this one right here, I'm going to do a whole call out. Um, you had to have done it as a whole. We're actually going to change this one to a whole call out. And I'm going to delete this because this gives me the depth as well. And I would like to do that here, but it all depends on how you created it. So I did not create that as a whole, so I can't do a whole call out on it. So I'm going to have to just do a regular dimension, uh, the half inch. And I want to try to get as close to this corner as I can. Now, I am going to dimension from the bottom edge to the top edge right here. And then I am going to dimension the distance from here to here. And I'm going to dimension distance from here to here in line with this one. So zoom in on what you see, how I want to try to keep it perfectly in line with the previous one. It's so right there. 0.75 in, 0.75, and then I'm going to do another one right here. Just make sure these arrows match up. Okay. And I'll do the same thing on the top. I'm going to do one from here to here. Oops, I got the inside there. Don't want to get the inside. I want to make sure I get the outside. So dimension again, outside, 
to outside to get the full four and a half. Right there. And then I'm just going to do same kind of deal. One, these are called linear dimensions that I'm doing right now. Uh, and I may run into some issues with this linear dimensions in a second. And I'm going to actually go over here to my drawing properties. And I'm going to fix this. Um, so right now, I want my dimensions to be in inches. And I want them to have a smaller precision. Uh, just a one tenth, so that's gonna save me some space. It looks like I'm gonna have to go up just one. Uh, and I want to remove the trailing zeros. All right, so I've removed the trailing zeros. Um, now I'm actually gonna change it to inches fractional. That's probably better. And uh, do the sixteenths. Okay. So that will probably allow me to stack these dimensions in here a little better. So I'm going to go from here to here again. I'm just zooming in so I can get slightly more precision because you do want them to line up. And then from here to here. Hit escape. I'm going to move this one up a little. I'm going to move all the dimensions around a bit. Because a big part of dimensioning is trying to get things to look just the right way. And if you can't do that, like these issues here, like I'm going to have to move everything around uh, and switch to a different kind of dimensioning called baseline because I cannot make this fit. I'm going to drop this one down here. Oh, there we go. That's fitting now. Um, I'm just adjusting things. Try to make it fit a little better. So we're going to do baseline instead of linear just because I believe the room will fit all of them a little nicer. This is called baseline dimensioning where all the dimensions are referenced from the same initial baseline as before we were doing what was called linear dimensioning. All right, that looks good. So almost done here. And to finish it up, I just need the dimensions on this one. Uh, and this one, I think there will be enough room where I can do just kind of two linear dimensions. I've got that. And then I could do the same thing over on the other side, or I can connect them um, here as well. Okay. I want to make sure this is standing on its own. So if I got to drag it up a little or down. I will. Okay. It's not really very clear, is it? There we go. Okay. This is an ideal here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's a little better. Just looking around for what else I need. So I got my my one hole dimension. I do have to make a note on this. So I'm going to add a note of uh, times two or x 
x2, x2. Really, I want the note to be in here, so maybe x2. Let me see. Yes. Space x2. All right, so that's that. So that's times two, so that's for both of them. And then for here, I want to add the depth symbol. As you can see, I added the depth of one slash 16. Uh, and then I also wanted to add TYP. Uh, and that's not like the perfect way to do this, but it means that all of these are half inch at a depth of 1 16th. Um, so this is a tic-tac-toe times two for the two circles. Uh, and basically from here, you know, for when you hand it in, you're just gonna call it tic-tac-toe. And that'll be it. It's got your name and the date automatically and you'll be ready to hand it in. You can go down here to where it says PDF and export that. And once you export it, you can hand that in and everything will be all right. So that is what you need for the tic-tac-toe. And I'm actually gonna export this and upload it to your assignment to look at. So good luck.